We got this piece put in. Um, unfortunately, the live well wasn't 100% uh, square there. So I uh, just stuffed some carpet in there to um, avoid that from rubbing. I just put one rivet in the top and then attached over there for this piece, but it's in there pretty good. Um, all the, the rivets on the inside here, I just put um, some, uh, like, I think it's like an RTV, a waterproof RTV. And then coated the back side as well. This piece here, I've just changed my idea a little bit. Um, originally, I was just going to have a piano hinge here and the whole lid would open. Uh, what I've decided to do is just uh, cut out a square piece like this and have the lid open this way. It's just going to make things a lot easier to put a latch out on the side here, like we did over there. And um, just accessing the hatch will be uh, quite a bit easier. So I'm going to go that route. Uh, it's pretty easy to do that. You just cut out your piece to get the... Um, uh, the general shape and uh, square it up in there. This is the edge of the plywood, so it's square. So I'll just take a uh, square, get yourself a line down here, and then, then off of this line here, uh, just basically uh, cut your next line out there, or mark it out, I should say. And then what I'm going to do is just uh, go to the saw, cut those two lines out that'll give me my lid um, what I've done is I've just cut this a little short just to accommodate for the carpet so again you're gonna cut that out carpet this attach this down and then before you carpet the lid do a test fit to make sure that it's going to uh, to fit correctly in there all right so that's the uh, piece cut out and we'll just go and carpet both pieces and install them so that's the carpet in done the same on this side over here so next what I'm going to do is just mount this uh, piece in which will allow me to get my uh, lid cut I got to cut this a little bit because it's a little tight still so when I put the carpet on it's going to uh, won't close so I'm just going to shave a blade width off or so of that carpet that put my hinge on and that'll be ready to go okay so this lid's installed here so I just need to get myself a latch for this side and uh, that one's good to go. So one thing I've done this year is get a bigger battery. The, um, the one I had was uh, I think a 24 series. This is a 29. So my battery tray does not uh, fit anymore. So I had some scrap uh, 90 degree here. What I've done is just drill out a hole counter sunk it just so my screws uh, doesn't sit up in it and uh, basically what I'm going to do just get that up under the battery and I'll use the existing uh, tie down strap and just use that to hold it into place and right, so there it is installed so I just stuffed this piece of carpet down here just to keep it a little snugger use this here because the uh, strap was rubbing on um, on these pieces so that'll just hold it down. I didn't put anything on the sides. Um, it's, I don't think it's gonna move around on me because I usually am not out in too rough of water. Um, if it does, if I have a problem, I'll just put two angled pieces on the sides as well. It's so another thing I added that I had some of this extra 90 degree aluminum left from uh, the box build. It's just this tackle box holder here. So I got four of these uh, Plano boxes. Just cut these uh, out to length and then one up there to hold it in place. And then they just rest up against the battery. So I added this little tool holder here, little pliers and scissors. I'm going to put another one here on the other side um, that'll hold the uh, file and just some other stuff. Uh, what it is is just a 5200 transducer bracket from Lowrance. And um, all I did was just take a step drill, but drill these out to three quarters of an inch. And then that's enough to allow your tools to pass through. So that's a look at it there, uh, drilled out. Just used a couple washers uh, because these holes are fairly big and um, screwed them in. So I got one on that side. When I did it, I just made sure that it didn't do it so high that the uh, pliers would be sticking up. So I just measured that out. I'm gonna throw one over here as well now.